Lisa. And Will's Hall. Tonight, Will has a Dollar Tree Hall to share with you. And he went to several Dollar Trees in North Carolina, Georgia, and South Carolina. And he wants to share all the awesome finds he found. And he did find some new finds. So you're going to want to stick around and watch this Dollar Tree Hall. I went up to my parents in North Carolina, and every time I go there, I go to a store in Hickory and a store in Gastonia because they have such different items there that I don't see in my own stores locally here. So I wanted to, first of all, welcome everyone into our live tonight. And I'm so thankful for all the subscribers we have. We would like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Well, we hope you all had a very Merry Christmas, and we would like to wish you a Happy New Year. In fact, unfortunately, one of the store managers in Hickory, North Carolina, she lost her house on around the time of Christmas. It burnt down. Oh, wow. So I didn't tell Lisa that at all, but um, the employees were trying to raise extra funds for her and stuff like that and make people aware of things. When did her home burn down? It was either Christmas night or the night Christmas uh, Eve? Before Christmas. Wow, that's horrible. Mm -hmm. They were. They had pictures of it and everything. They had put a poster up. Uh, that is that so day. sad. She was the store manager of the store? She is the store manager of the store in Hickory. It's the one off High Shoals Road. I learned so much when we get on the live. Why didn't you tell me that? I feel so sorry for that lady. I do too, and we. I should have mentioned it in prayers and stuff. Yes, yeah, so let's everybody pray, pray for the store manager of Dollar Tree in... In Hickory, North Carolina on high, 2507 High Shoals Road. Well, that is sad, and we will definitely be praying for her. So now, let's get into this Dollar Tree haul. Huh? Well, take it away. Uh, the first item that I found is a new to this year color, and that is the standable three-tier planner. And this has the interlocking just like before. But it's in the new blue color. Can you show us how it interlocks? Do you remember? Yes, I do. And they do have the blue this year. They have the terracotta as they did last year. And they also have a... Um, tan. Uh, tan, I'm trying to think of the color. But it's a light tan, cream color. And there it is. That's how easy it is. Hello, Estelle. Thank you for joining Hi, us. Estelle. And she said she will pray for her. Thank you. Yes. That's horrible. Okay, Will, now what do you have next? Show your little, um, yes, yeah, show that. That's cute. Yes, this year the Fairy Garden has the Forest Fork figurine, and this is the Trackner. It is like a John Deere looking like Trackner, and that is very exciting. I saw that, and I called Lisa immediately because that was an exciting uh, find, I found that in one of our South Carolina stores. Which one was that? Do you remember? I believe it was... I have to think for a minute. How I believe was... it was Richland. Richland Avenue. That's in Columbia. No. Richland no. Avenue is on, in Aiken. Oh, okay. I, have a, I bought another one of these belts. This one was bought in the Gastonia store. There's a Gastonia store right next to the That's Walmart. in North Carolina? Right. Maybe Gast you would like to say. Gastonia, North Carolina. This is a size 44. I have the other one. Just one like just it. Just like it. Matter of fact, it's on right now. And I really like it. It's very comfortable. They were originally two for five or five... $99. I told him to pick another one of these up because he'd only got one. And it's pretty nice belt for a dollar. I thought we had a black one in here too, but... No, you already bought that before. Bought that that before. was a, the dress belt. Hello, Lorene. Thank you for joining hey, us. Um, next, I found the Mossy Oak Extra Cushion Work Socks Crew Lane. Let's go in on you a little bit. That's scary. Carry on. I bought three of them. These are Mossy Oak. They are super comfortable. They're very thick. They have a nice texture, and they are not a Greenbrier product. Those are nice. They're very nice. and they're very Hello, nice. everyone that's coming in. Welcome, and thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Show that next. 
We, yes. Our grandson's here, and Will brought this home, and he said these are $15 at stores, and oh, Will right. looked it up before he did the haul, and it was... Anywhere from $7 to $15, $15.95. These are Star Wars Metal Earth 3D kits. This is Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle. I got this one as well uh, in Gastonia. Um, they have a whole bunch of them in that store, so if you're near Gaston, you want to check that out. Uh, but these are, um, they're from Star Wars, and they're from Kylo Ren, and it says Star Wars The Force Awakens in movie theaters, December 16th, 2015. So these are five years old, is when this promo came out. But it's and still, still retailing for fifteen ninety five. Now, what is it exactly? I have like... That is Kylo... If you'll flip it over... I have like no clue what even that Kylo is. Kylo Ren... Okay, for those of you who are... Sci -fi Something people, you put together? Correct. You collect them all. No, so, but no glue is needed for this. Cool. Show them what you have over here that you have on the couch you wanted to show them. Okay, so the Gastonia store that I go to... In North Carolina. In North Carolina has these masks. And... I got this one, and if you notice, there's a bridge piece for its net for your nose. Where does it lie flat against it? And it's much more comfortable than those blue ones. And I'm going to pull it down just a the little. The blue bit. ones that you dispose of. The disposables. They have one that is looks like it's Minecraft. And so we're giving this to Lyric because he loves Minecraft, but it looks like a Minecraft. We have a camo, a dark camo. And yours is some kind of camo. And mine is camo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash mine every other day. Every and other day? I think I'd wash it every day because... Well, every other day I'd switch them out. Hmm. And wear a different one. Well, you do what you like with your mask. The reason being for work, I have to have it. Well, you have to have a, a specific style for work. Right. They give you at work. Right. He had custom ones made for his work. And I still have that one. I don't use it. It's a 3M custom made mask. So if you've got one made for your work, but you don't use it, why but do you're you... You're only supposed to use it under extreme circumstances for that one. But well, those you can... So they don't use. consider the coronavirus streaming. Uh, I mean, I don't understand. So you got and one known, custom made. One's with a known, comes in with a known case. Then you put that on. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. So next we have wild habitat. This was found in Gastonia as well. These are wild habitat socks. The first ones are manatees. These are, they're, they, these are children's socks. The next one are sheep. And it says, give me love. Uh, give love, love giveth. So you've got the sheep. And then you've got the penguin. And again, these are just in children's sizes. They do not sell them. And adults, unfortunately. I am a little bit sick, um, and I think I'm just exhausted. Hand me the socks, Will. Sure. Uh, my voice is a lot better today. I think I'm trying to be Lorene's copycat. <coughs> she has to have, she has to have her voice sounding funny, so I have to have mine sounding funny. I don't know. Mine was really bad a couple days ago, but it's getting better. That's the sheep, and that is the. What was that? I don't know. I don't that was know. a penguin. Okay. At least it looks like a penguin. Yep, Next. A penguin. Those socks are super cute. So if now, Will got those, off. Will has a bad shopping addiction, just let me tell you. I haven't been to Dollar Tree in over a week. So this is all Will's doing. He was out last night till like 1 o'clock in the morning. Sending, well, let's be clear. Let's be clear. Sending pictures of cars. He and Lyric were out looking at cars last night after they went to Walmart, after Walmart closed. Now our next item was something that I picked up especially, expressly for Lisa. Expressly? Be as strong as your espresso from Greenbrier. Lisa loves espresso. She has to have four shots in her coffee. <laughs> I would take 20 if, that, if it didn't cost more. <clears throat> show them your new thing. Oh yeah, show them that. It's almost Valentine's Day. <coughs> and this fruit roll up, mini fleet, four count strawberry. And I'm going to put this to Lisa from me. Don't tell her. Um, Valentine word tumble. 
is on the back. Yes, so don't tell play, me. I'll never know. You can play word tumble on the back of this, which is interesting. And you can get points written down right there. I think it has, it has four count that you can give to or from. Right. Okay. Now, next, I found these in the back of a store. It is the six count splash. Which you know they always have it. Now they've reduced it to four, but he found the six. Because a lot of people were hauling these, so I got two of them. But they we, are the wild berry. But we don't usually buy these from Dollar Tree at a dollar. It's still too expensive because we get, them at, we get them for $0. 79 cents at Kroger. Right. All right. So, so let's show these, Will. Now, this was found in a I Georgia. Like a squeaky. These were found in a Georgia store. I'm going to go one at a time. The Greenbrier Gnomes, which. Gnomes, Estelle said the splash is really good. It is, and the orange one's my favorite. They only had the wild berry, and they only had it in one store. When you go to about 12 to 15 different stores like I did. Whoa, 12 or 15 stores? Are you serious? I went pretty far. I went to a lot of them. You are uh, truly, truly that was the Dollar the Tree King. ho. Move on. I'll go with King, thank you. <laughs> um, so next we have the pink gnome with a little heart up top. These are very popular this year. I no, I'm junk. It's a fake Santa. What do you think of that comment, Will? I'm not commenting. <laughs> Next, we have. We're going to give this to probably my somebody. And then the, the grand boys. They don't want one of these. This is, they have the pink top. Pink Why wouldn't they want those? Gray. There's only four gnomes that you've seen that I know of. So there you go. Will is addicted to the Dollar Tree. Ho, oh, that's what I say. Well, that's what they say to me when I come in Dollar Tree. The Some of the workers, I go, oh no, here comes a Dollar Tree, ho. Brown. And he's shedding a little bit, some pink. He's brown with red. And then next we have the blue with a red top. Blue oh. with a red top. Okay, I'm gonna go ask Lyric would he want one of these. Okay, so next let's show what else you, these two items you found. Now and I'm gonna go ask Lyric the question. While Lisa's is gone, we'll talk about her. Here are the facts. Yes, I do go to a lot of dollar stores. <coughs> yes, I do do a majority of the shopping. I would say at least fifty percent, and or more than that, actually, probably about sixty-five to seventy. And Lisa, um, they will call me and say, hey, I'd really like this. I've seen it. Oh, you're back. Now time for Spa Life Facial Mask. I didn't tell you I'd really like those. You, 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 you FaceTimed me, and I said, sure, get one of each. Because there's like tons of different ones. And I'm like, I don't need all those. But they had just put them out. So those are coming out to the stores this week. Hopefully. So Spa Life Beauty Trip Facial Mask, and this was from Rome. It includes Merlot and antioxidants. Contains three facial masks, not just one. And the net weight is 2.43 ounces. It is a Spa Life. We had not seen that one before. That is, that is in heavy. Gastonia. You must want me to get some beauty going on over here. Next, we will have the Lace Mask. From Spa Life, two rose water infused hydro hydrogel lace masks. Net weight 0.81. There you go. And it's not a Greenbrier product. That's heavy t as well. And now this has two rose water. These are made in Korea, not in China. Korea. Interesting. And uh, it's from Spa Life. And they have an 800 number. Uh, 888 number. If you have any questions, they'll be glad to answer them. And they are from Rahway, New Jersey. Okay, so next, Will Cox, probably FaceTimed. Face uh, what he's doing in these Dollar Tree halls, he is like a gnat. I, I cannot get a second to do anything because he's constantly calling me. But anyway, 
um, he found these products, and I'm like, sure, get one or two of each. And this is what he got. He went a little crazy. All right, so. Let me hold him. First of all, the Broadway eyeshadow kit, the dark color. Lisa asked for one of these. Um, I went with three. And um, these are from Port Washington, New York. They're distributed by Kiss Products. They're designed in the USA. And I got three of these. Two of them are going to go to my sisters. One of them's going to go for whatever Lisa wants them to go for. So I thought it was a great deal. Anytime you get eyeshadow for a dollar, you can get 12. Now, who made things. those? Did you, did you Kiss. Kiss. Yes. Like the ones that do the nail polish things, you yes. think? Cool. Now. Who made these? Let me hold one. I said, yeah, pick up a couple of these, and he got five. Now, Lisa asked for three of these. Three. And they are the medium dark. Uh, BCK02. It's a contour. Contour. And they are from um, the Kiss products as well. Estelle says she can't find the Broadway products. This is medium and dark con con cream contour kit. I really don't know how to contour, but I could. I've tried. My daughter can do yeah, it. Where, she can contour. It's my daughter can do it where she looks like a totally different person. It's yeah. kind of look scary. So that was a good find, Will. Now those were in the Gastonia store. In North so Carolina. if you're near Gastonia, North Carolina, go to the store at, right near at the same shopping center as the Walmart and the Five Below. Because they've got like three different stores there. They're all good stores. Um, I found this in North Augusta. And I had not seen... South the, Carolina. South Carolina. This is from Bonnie Bar, which is a company since 1960. Bonnie Bar. So they are, um, they are from Cucamonga, Rancho Cucamonga. Where in the in world is that? California. And that is the same place near Mommy and Kimberly's Adventures. Madera? They're, they've got to be close there because she's mentioned Rancho Cucamonga before. And um, this is from Bradsaw International. And it is a two-in-one compact. Easily fits in drawers and pockets. Hand wash is recommended. But you look at this. This thing is sturdy. And if Lisa can show it to you, very sturdy. And it says drink responsibly on the back. But that is from a company that has been in business since 19... 68. Awesome. And I found it at a, one of our local stores here in South Carolina. That was at the North Augusta store. I'll show this. This is cute. Yes. Um, this was from the Richland Avenue store. In? In uh, Aiken, South Carolina. This is the Fairy Garden. And it is the Forest Figurine. And it is the Ice Cream Wagon. And that is super cute. Here. All the ice creams are the same color, but you could paint it to whatever color you would like. Now, the next three items are for family members. I found the 500 piece Frozen 2 puzzle. And this is a Greenbrier product. Product. It is a Disney licensed product. And I got this for my niece who loves Frozen. And loves doing puzzles, I found out. She's in a lot of trouble now that I know that she likes to do uh, puzzles. Because I like to buy puzzles. I think Will's parents were, I mean, Will's sister and her husband were a little bit upset. Will gave her too much for Christmas. Actually, I told him I cut back. I cut back on Will's, didn't you say your mom said, when is she ever going to stop? My mom said, when is she ever going to stop opening her gifts? And I really <laughs> sensed that my mom was jealous over <laughs> her granddaughter, which is weird. But anyway. She really was. And she just wondered when you were going to stop. Well, there was nothing wrong with spoiling her because really we hadn't gotten her anything in a while. Yes, because you didn't go last year. So. I didn't go in the last couple of years. And I think it was important to do that. And my sister's been pretty good to me. So this year, I found out that they love to make Who's they? desserts. My sister and her, my niece. And she asked you to pick up some she books. She asked me to pick up some books on the subject matter. And so I found this... Um, which is from Miss Madeline. 
and the photographs are by Antonis and Chilios, and it's We Love Madelines, and this little book is super cute. It uh, retailed for $17.95, and here's the thing, it's a British book. It's not a sold in Canada type book, it is $11.99 on British pounds. Uh, so these little cakes, Madelines, which are from Britain, and I'm going to show you the book inside. If you look here, let me help. You've got all sorts. They can't see that. Of different Madelines being made, which are desserts. There we go. It is a pretty book with the pink and white. And then they made the statement that because I got them this book called Brooklyn Recipes. From Dollar Tree. From Dollar Tree, which is a $30 book. Um, it had all these recipes. They said, well, the only thing missing out of this, because it had cocktails, it had desserts, was chocolate. So I found this book. Let me see if I can find what the price is on this. We don't. It's okay. That might yeah. take a... I got it. It's twenty four ninety five. Both U.S. and Canada, the same price. That's strange. That never happens. This is from Theo Chocolate, and it's recipes from the Theo Chocolate people. And I'm that is a pretty book. It is. It's a very pretty book. Joe Whitney and Deborah Music moved to Seattle in 2004 to build Theo Chocolate, which was born out of the desire to show chocolate lovers how organic, fair-traded chocolate can positively impact the world. And if you look, these are some gorgeous chocolate truffles, all sorts of different things. Just a really nice book, over 200, I'd say over 200 pages easily. Well, that is awesome. Yeah, it is, and um, you know what? Whenever you can find something that somebody requests, it is really, really nice. Uh, these are, our next item is a Dollar Tree uh, for Cooking Essentials item, and we have three of them. It is the Meat Chopper. We purchased this, this is a repurchase. I love these. These are, I think, my favorite item from the Dollar Tree. And these were found in, I don't know what the we haven't, they, I haven't found any of these at my local Dollar Tree. They were found in, in, um, in Gastonia. These were found in Gastonia. And these are so effective at doing the job that they need to do that Lisa loves them. So we got three more. Um, can I have the next item? There you go. Tell everybody that I hate those to warm them up before they eat them. Alright, so Lisa makes a great point. These are the peanut patch. I make these homemade in my Instapot and they're really good, but these are pretty good if you warm them up. They have to be warmed up. Now here's what's interesting. Do you know what state these are from, Lisa? North Carolina? No. South Carolina? Correct. They're from Effingham. That's near uh, Sus um, Sharon. Right. These Simply are Sharon. from McCall Farms down in Effingham, just outside of Lake City, okay. South Carolina. Right. And if you heat these up, they are delicious. I like them, period. Um, I'm eating them just plain, just the way that they are. But I saw the sign when we were going down to Florence and Dillon. And our next item, please, Lisa. Well, um, you only got a couple food items, so since you're doing food, I'll send you these. We'll keep sticking these up. I do not like these at all. They taste funky to me. I like them. Um, they're the Sobisk Thin Shortened Dark Chocolate Cream European Style Cookie. There are six two-packs in here, and I use them for breakfast. And you can dip them in coffee and other stuff. Uh, store in a cool, dry place. And they are from... Chad's Ford, Pennsylvania. They're a product of, the, of India. So they come out of India originally, but they are from Chad's Ford, out of, which is Sobrick's Food, LLC. And guess what we found? Ta-da! Only one box. Why? We didn't find it. We found it. So we found the Mandalorian, and this was a 10.2 ounce box, the Disney Can I ask box. you a question? What is, oh, that's the name of that too? Mm -hmm. I was going to say, what did that have to do with the book? Because that, well, that was the cereal. It's, this is the new release. Um, the Mandalorian has now been out, I believe, two years, maybe three. This may be the start of the third. And on the back, it has the child. And 
The Mandalorian obviously is the baby Yoda beginning. And this isn't the family size, but it's still a good deal for a dollar. And Estelle said she does like the shortbread cookies. I got the phone and I'm trying to read the um, the comments. The comments. I didn't have it earlier. So if I didn't respond to you, I'm sorry. This next <coughs> item was from the store in Hickory where the uh, incident had occurred with a store manager. Well, she lost her home. Right. It was originally $189. It's still good until March 13th of 2021. And this is the Carolina style barbecue chips, gluten free. The bag size is 2.875. And you notice, Lisa, that this is Carolina blue. Yes. UNC, go you, Michael Jordan. For those of you who are UNC fans, I'm home. Of, I, I lived, grew up right near Michael Jordan, and I was a big Michael Jordan fan. All right, so everything on this next group of items that I. Is for your sisters. Is for my sister and her husband. Because, Two sisters, it looks like. No, just one. Well, I can do it either way. It looks like you got two sets. Yeah. You have two sets, so You're right. I don't I don't know. But go Love ahead. is a four legged word. My sisters have between the two of them one kid and three dogs. So I got them two of the dish towels. Those are dish cloth. Or one each. These are the pot holders matching. And they're this is all from Greenbrier. And then this is the oven mitt, which would be matching as well for their set. Bonnie said she's from Chicago, and she loves Michael Jordan. I do, too. I love Michael Jordan. I would skip school. To go watch your play. No. I yeah. would skip school to go to Peppy's Pizza in... Um, Raleigh? No, 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 no. Chapel Hill. So, we could run into Jordan and some of the basketball players. James Worthy. But let me tell you something. It's amazing seeing them in person because when they walk in, it's, it's not like a, a regular man who walks into a building. When they walk in to the restaurant door, they have to be in a way down to get through that door. It's crazy. And since you're on that subject, you might as well show that. Did you get that on sale? I did. Uh, this is the gnome for the holidays. I didn't pick up any of the gnome towels or stuff for Christmas because they, they're that microfiber, but Will got it for 50 cents. I got it for 50 cents, so I was not arguing. It is the uh, Christmas house, which is a green brown product. And more 50 cent items. So we have the luncheon napkinettes, 20 piece. And this is the one with the snowman and the red truck on it with the Christmas trays. And remember, there's 20 in there. This is the Express Your Elf, which is 24 count napkins. Next, we have the you Santa have. Claus plate. I have, excuse me. And I'll just use those. I'm not saving cents. those. We'll just use them tomorrow, or tonight, whatever we'll you do. We use them as disposable so we don't have to get ours out of the closet, out of the thing and wash them. Out of the closet. Out of the closet, out of the. <laughs> Out of whatever we call it <laughs> over there. When you do a video, it's hard to remember things, isn't it? Yes. And next I have the 18 count party platter. And this one has the matching. That doesn't it. look like a party platter. It's like a regular size Well, plate. if you look, it matches. Right. I had a game plan when I did it. You're going to have to grab have that bag right there. Okay, that's it. And you have a face mask up under your foot that you got. You can show that one. Oh, right. I have neglected this pineapple face mask. I think I've got least of this already, but another one won't hurt. And they have had these prior years, but my granddaughter took mine, so we'll see it and pick me up this. I found this in up in Hickory, and this had the donuts, the coffee. Actually, it looks like it's right there. They didn't copy them though, so it's got pastries, it's got iced coffee in it. It's really nice. Good size bag. And then he found this and he FaceTime again and asked Lyric if he wanted this. This is from North Carolina North Carolina and it is a video game notebook, which I thought was super cool. And you can see the outside and the center. Alright, Lisa. 
crazy. All right, so next we have, you know, it just wouldn't be a hall of mine without some DC Comics, Hot Wheels stuff. Um, I have five things that I really collect in life. Well, probably more than that. But um, anyway, this is one of them. I love Hot Wheels. This is the DC collection. There's only like five in this collection, so. And you have three more items. Three more items to go. I and was, you will be done with your haul. Now, I had seen the can openers before. This is the waiter's. Show this, them what it comes in. It comes in. It this. comes in just this little slip, and it's easy to get out. And the lady's like, "Oh my goodness, that's." This was in Hickory where I found this, and she's like, "This is so easy to to have a problem with this." And she said, "You don't have a barcode." I said, "Oh, here it is, a little bag in the cart." But look at this. This is the only yellow one that I've found. What other colors did they have? Um, I've seen black. That and black. That and black. And so what do you have here to show So us? what you have is you have a... Cork. Cork. Little saw-like thing. That's a, like, a little knife. And a bottle opener. All in one. For a dollar. At the dollar. This even has a pad inside of it. What? what it has a little think? pad inside of it. What's the pad for? The pad, okay, when you put down that, it catches it. It catches this. Right. So that, that way it doesn't rub up against the metal. Okay. And now you have two more items. Now, these two more items, uh, there's another item at your foot. Oh, okay. We have three more items. There you go. So, first of all. I'm sitting on the floor behind the camera. This is... Throwing stuff at Will. Go ahead. She's having target practice. So this is the little monkeys with the hearts yeah, ribbon. And, and it's that. part of the Valentine's collection this year. And you know I love monkeys. So I had to get this for Lisa. Little monkey. Next was an item that both was... Lisa and I love. This is ribbon from the... Uh, floral garden collection. It's and this is, this is not a new item. It has been out before. But we love lemons. And last but and not this least. This was a new item for me. I saw it at two different Dollar Trees, both up in North Carolina. Now it these have been out a while for Dollar Tree. I mean, at Dollar Trees, we just, I, I think I've seen them, but we just never got one. But he wanted to get one yesterday. This is the Microburst Microfiber Duster Chiffon. Chiffon, and I did it. And I did hear that they work very well. The chiffon. It's kind of a fun word to say. This reminds me of that uh, picture. I like that little girl will with the dog that's doing that mean thing with the brush. Yes, with the brush. <laughs> <laughs> that mean. mean there you can show it. You, you can thing. show it there. That's a pretty good size one. <laughs> That's what she's doing. And right that now. is the end of this Dollar Tree haul. So you want to um, speak with people for a few yes, seconds? Yes, I would love now. to speak with people. What is everybody doing for New Year's Eve? Uh, my daughter is coming tomorrow with her other son. I have her oldest son here. And we were going to go to Ikea Thursday, but she's, she said it's New Year's Eve. And I'm not really feeling the best in the world. So we decided maybe, I mean, when you go to Charlotte, North Carolina, it's busy anyway. So I think we're just going to stay home all day. We're not going to get out. And Will has to sleep all day. He's been on vacation since. The 22nd because I got called into work. But you got called in. He, he was on vacation, but they called him in. They needed him to come in, so he did go in. And he's been on vacation for, like, since last Tuesday. And he has to it's sleep. Too fast. He has to sleep all day Thursday because he's on call for Thursday night, which kind of stinks because he's asleep even if he doesn't have to go into work. But he's on call, so he will be sleeping at least until six o'clock. Yeah, I'll sleep all the way through. You have to be you have to be up at six if you go to work. Right. So he'll get up at six. What are you talking about all the way through? Well, I'd sleep all the way through until they call me on Thursday. If I didn't get called in, then I'd wake up. Right. He, he normally has to be to work at uh, 20 minutes to 7, but he's up at 6. But um, he'll be up sometime around that time. Then if you don't have to go in, he can celebrate New Year's Eve with us. 
Yeah, I I want to talk to some of the comments. Bonnie, I know that some of the meat choppers can get right expensive, but when you can find them for a dollar at Dollar Tree, why not? And that one's very sturdy and Yes, big. it is. Hi, Deborah. How are you? I was shocked about that. Uh, Deborah says that those dusters work great. Uh, that's good to know because we have not had one yet, so we're excited to use that. Staying home, what kind of work Deborah is Deborah sent do? us some friend mail. So I will be getting to that that video. We were going to do it before this one, but we figured we better do this one first and get this put up. And Will's going to go fishing in the morning. I've already got the car loaded, and it's nice and neat, and all my rods are redone. Except for okay. One. So I'm going to try to do that video while he's gone, because I don't think when you do a, a live video for friend mail, it gives your friend mail justice. Um, Janie D says they are on voluntary lockdown, so it's important to watch these videos. Where are you at? We're not on lockdown. We were never technically on lockdown much. Maybe for... This is due to um, rotten weather. Oh. She's got inclement weather, so they've been ordered to stay off the road. Yeah, that's um, a good... to answer your question. I would lock I myself am, down for that. What I'm going to say about that is I'm a first responder. She asked what I did. Yes, he's a first responder. So there we go. Um... Let's see, Estelle Zimmerman says she is staying home. Um, we know. always have stayed home anyway for well, New Year's Eve. No, us. we did go out when we were younger. We went out when we were younger. We did. We would go, we, we had pictures to prove that we actually went out when we were younger. <laughs> <laughs> we would go downtown Charleston. Um, we'll, I said, we're going out. I've never really been out on New Year's Eve, and we're going out. And we went downtown, Charleston. This is that where I, we ran into the, we were at California Dreaming, and we ran into that guy that I knew who was who was um, waiting tables or cleaning them up. Right, we ran into him. We went to this place called The Horse and Cart. It's like a, like a nightclub bar kind of place, wasn't it, Will? Yeah. In Charleston, but I stopped on the street. She kissed another man. No, he kissed me. Well, you're getting a far head of yourself. He came up to me and kissed me when it was 12 o'clock. I went to get me and you some champagne, and he kissed me right there when I was picking it up and turning around. Did you see it or you didn't know? I can't remember. I didn't know it until you told me. Yeah, I was like, a and he was the owner of the place, so I might have should have kept kissing. But anyway, <laughs> I didn't really kiss him. I was in shock. But uh, I stopped on the street and asked him. I was in my 30s, maybe 34. Uh, five, and I was like, I didn't, you know, 34, 35, I didn't know a cool place is. I stopped and asked the kids on the street, where's a cool place we could go? And so we did that. But I think that's the last time we have technically been out for New Year's Eve. Will? Yeah, that is. It's been a long time. And, uh, Janie, I'm sorry to hear that you're still having um, complications due to your foot surgery. So that she's was... not going anywhere anyway because you're snowed in, you're sleeted in, you're rained in. And, and you can't walk. Foot, you can't walk. So. That's horrible. I'm sorry to hear that, too. That is horrible. Is Uber Eats still running? I'd be crawling area? around on my knees, chasing Wheel, aggravating him. I'll, still, I'll figure a way, won't I, Will? All right. We're just choosing our own lockdown. We're not going out in the weather. We're in southeast Iowa. Um, hey, we have a horse and cart bar here, too, says Lorraine. It was a horse and cart, wasn't it? Yep. And now, do you, any of you have a place called California Dreaming? It is a restaurant, and they have, they have really delicious food and steaks. Pawnee says this. I'm sorry, I can't help but laugh at this. <laughs> I never in my life went out for New Year's. It's amateur night. <laughs> you have a good point. It was kind of amateur night, uh, but Will had ran into a guy. Who was the guy you went to college with, or...? Yeah, that's was, not not stop the Citadel. You went at College of Charleston after you graduated Citadel when you went to College of Charleston. Right, it was and you met him, and he had a girlfriend that was with him, and I just kept looking at her because you know back then, oh goodness, I'm old. Back then, people didn't do all the fake eyelashes and stuff like they do today. And I kept looking at her, and her eyelashes were so beautiful and long. And so finally, I said, "Do you have fake eyelashes on? Remember her big fake eyelashes?" And Lisa was asking me, did I keep looking at her big eyelashes? And I was like, well, you couldn't miss them. That's <laughs> all I could look at was her eyelashes. <laughs> Way out there. Is that the night I broke the windshield in the car? No, that was another night. Oh, okay. 
I, I put my feet up on the dash and I pre pressed the windshield, which was a pressure point, and broke the whole windshield out. Yeah, that was good times. <laughs> Anybody that never drinks goes out that night. That is so true. That's so true because I don't drink. And some of us who can do okay with drinking don't go out that night because we don't want to deal with the people who... We well, can't really drink and go out because... You have, well, you can. You just have to have a driver. Well, in my case, because of being a first responder, I can't drink in this town or this county. Anyway. No, you're not allowed to and drink in to the be town. To honest with you, I don't want to because it could be really bad. You're not allowed to drink in the town you work in. But you never drink when you go out anyway. First of all, it's too expensive. Yeah, it is. I mean, uh, bar prices are just like anything else right now. They're through the roof. They've been that way. They've been up for years. So, I mean, yeah, I have no desire to, to go out and drink. Maybe it's old age setting in that just says... I don't want to do that, but it's one of those things where um, I I just feel like it's not something that's good for me to do. I can whatever I want to do at my house, I can do at my house and be perfectly happy, and it be legal because you know I'm not leaving my house. Well, it's legal when you go out. It's just not legal to drink and drive, which I don't understand anybody doing that. But <laughs> not only to eat, bite yourself. Yeah, you got a good point there, Bonnie. Uh, let's see. Bill's taking over the household chores and doing a good job. I'm worried about my job security. Who's that? That's Janie. Janie, you know what? A lot of people, a lot of people are. are worried about it, especially with you and your, um, your foot condition. Uh, that's understandable to be worried about that. So we'll keep that in prayer as well. So tonight, if you missed Well, my earlier, daughter's been out of work. Uh, she's a single mother. She has a mortgage. She did get her car paid off two months, thank God, after the she got let go. She got let go, I guess, three or four weeks after the coronavirus started. And she called me from work, and she's like, they just furloughed me, and she was devastated. And I told her, I said, it's nothing you've done. I said, that's everybody right now. And she hasn't gone back to work yet, and... They're really not uh, hiring in her field. So I we she don't know what she's going to do quite yet. But she does not like being home. Um, and her, her children are ready for her to go back to, to work, too. So just not used to it. But she's she's had a hard time dealing with this as well. I, I think... Um, it's a lot of people. You know, it's a lot of stress right now. And, you know, we just, just deal with it day to day. Um Deal with the day to day and, and know that you're not the only person going through that. Um, as for uh, Lorene says, uh, I don't drink and being around drunk people gets on my last nerve. Laugh out loud. <laughs> you are right. Because most of them are combative. They can be very combative. Some of them can be funny, which the funnies I'm okay with. The combatives, yeah, no. Um, I'd rather stay home than go out. Besides, I have. Clean bathrooms here. Yeah, I don't like going into bathrooms either, the other people's bathrooms, because I'm always fearful that they may be disgusting. And um, if we know how other people live, it would really scare some of us. My house is very, very clean. Well, I owned a cleaning company that was pretty successful for years. Right. So we have seen it all. And some of them, I have a weak stomach. And some of them would be so horrible that I would call Will at work. And um, I had contracts. I, I did clean personal homes, but I had contracts with dealerships and apartment complexes. And some of the apartment complexes, uh, I went into one one day. And as soon as I walked in, I was like, this carpet is solid black. It wasn't solid black. It was black a dog hair that covered every inch of the carpet in the whole entire house. These people had never vacuumed. Tubs would be so filthy that I'm 5'2". From that height up, they would be solid black. And I had to buy scrubbing stones from the hardware stores to clean them. But I couldn't clean those. I had to call Will and my oldest son. They would come after they got off work and get it cleaned good enough where I could clean it. You remember those days, Will? Yes. I, I wanted to go back for just a minute. One time she called me 
because it was so bad that I had to come it's in here. more than one time. Yeah, it was more than once, but I, I wanted to go back and uh, just, um, welcome some people. Marianne Nago, if you're still here, um, I'd like to welcome you in. A lot of times I have to go to different Dollar Trees to find the goods. Uh, uh, sometimes it takes a lot of going around, and it's kind of like having another job, a second job when you have to do that. Going around, trying to find out what you need, um, where you can find it, uh, everything like that. So it's not just one store because each store gets different ones. I actually uh, was sitting down with our store manager recently, Angela, and she was telling me about what's in the book. And she saw different store layouts have different things. So you need to keep that in mind. And Angela, if you're watching, I think she watches once in a while. She never gives me the scoop on what's in and what was in there the other day. And she texts. Oh, we forgot one new thing. And she texts me. Oh, we forgot a new oh, item. My goodness, we forgot a new item. Uh, exciting terrible. item. Oh, my goodness. How she bad. told us to make sure we show this, but she texted me and told me to, she said, bite me. Sabrina the Crafty Mom. She's so Hi. Get ready for this. You've never seen this at Dollar Tree is before. This a new item that she made a point for us to put on the channel. And I've never seen anyone haul it. What's that song? Are you ready for this? Who sings that song, Will? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? No, don't go like that. But get ready. Feast your Are eyes. You ready on Farmer John's bacon. That's right. Not turkey bacon, but regular bacon. And it is very thick slices. Now, mind you, you don't get very many. It is three ounces of Farmer John's classic bacon. So Angela did give this to Will to showcase to showcase tonight. No, wait, we had to pay for it. Oh yeah, it was not given. Not, right? Yeah, we it was not we given. It. We did pay. He did pay for it, but she she pointed it out for you to put on the channel. Right. So that is Farmer John since 1931 or 1951. and you get a whole total of four slices of. Well, she said it was three or four. Of it's four slices of classic. Spanking. Um, what did you ask? It's it's since 1931. Whoops. So you have an 89 year old company coming into the Dollar, Dollar Tree. Tree to sell bacon that looks delicious. So I can and honestly, if you had bought three packs of that, you'd have been ahead because bacon now is 3.49. You'd have gotten. Oh, that's where we get bacon's three forty nine at Aldi, but well, other, places, some other places some they're other five and up, and ten. Five, six, ten. Right. I did not know that, Bonnie, that, that is better for you. Not only does it taste better, but regular bacon, according to Bonnie, is healthier. Healthier. Well, I tried the um I used to be a health nut freak. I tried that turkey bacon and it's gross. So Keeping yourself busy, because um, Dana's commented about between grandchildren cleaning and crafting, she stays busy. That does keep you busy. It does keep you busy. And, you know, um, between Dollar Tree Hall's work, grandchildren, and Instagram with fishing, and... Uh, I don't do Instagram. I very rarely get on Instagram, and I do not do Facebook. Well, if... I know Lorraine saw it... Um, when I, I always take opportunities to come back and capture the moment with regards to um, nature or fishing or anything like that. So if you want to check that stuff out, be all, by all means, um, be glad to accept you on uh, the Instagram channel. Well, what is your Instagram name? Gas Fishing, G-A-S, and then fishing. It's all together. So we would love for you to go and check out his Instagram. She said... Uh, he just started it not that long ago. It has 313 people following now. Wow. I've had Instagram for quite a while, but I rarely get on it. But I post, I post about three or four times. But I don't know if anybody's heard of Carnegie Deli. I love Carnegie Deli. It is a store that originated in New York City. They do have one in Las Vegas now. And I love their cheesecake. And I bought my daughter one, and I tagged them in it, and they took my picture from my tag and put on their, um, on their page. Web page. On. Did you see how many ounces that bacon was? It was. I did, but I can't remember. I'll walk back and check. Hey, Jamie Leesman. 
how are you? We're talking about bacon right now because the Dollar Tree has real bacon in it. It is three whole ounces, which I usually like to get the 16 ounce. It's three ounces. So for 12 ounces of bacon, you pay $4. So it's very expensive to me this way. Right. But it may not be to a lot of people because like we do get a good brand at Aldi for three something. We had to get it to show for the hog. You know, Bonnie, I'll, I have a story for you about Oprah. Bonnie brings up a great point about not messing with Oprah. So, years and years and years ago, when I went to Citadel, which I'm class of 1998, and here I'll show them since I you graduated show them. with the last all male class. He graduated with the all last male class. I don't think you can. There you uh, go. However, Oprah. You old here. Uh, when Shannon Faulkner came in, she interviewed with Oprah, and she thought that Oprah was going to be on her side. She thought Oprah, since Oprah, Oprah is a, a, a woman who has made it very well. And it's for women. Would want industry. women into the Citadel, which was an all-male college. Oprah was 100% against females going into the Citadel. She thought some things needed to remain as in history as it should, and no males should be in. And Oprah was at the Citadel a lot. Right. And she did a lot of her TV shows at the Citadel. Oprah did one of the greatest things she can do for the school when she gave that interview at that time. Because of the time frame when it was, Oprah said that traditions should be traditions in some cases, and that she lied on her application, which is true. She, she only did. went for a day she and did left. Fill it out. She is a teacher now in uh, Greenville, Greenville, South Carolina. And she still gives As I have, I have some friends that are teachers that know her. But she still gives these talks. Um, and she's, I think, a science teacher or an English teacher, one of them. That, I, that, one of my friends told me I can't remember. I can't remember either when they told us. But I remember when they told Oprah me backed that. the school. Oprah didn't back the individual on that one. So you're right. Women's lib stuff, she just backed the school. When she gave, when Oprah did an interview, she gave facts. And that's one of the great things about Oprah. She gave facts about that Shannon Faulkner did not fill out her application. She left it blank. She felt that that was a form of lying. Well, that is lying. And it is, because you are you fill out a completed application, somebody misses, because in the South, Shannon's can be both guys and girls. And Will does have on his class ring that he is the last all-male class. When they have reunions and stuff, they put all last male, oh my goodness. And they put all last male class, but they do have Shirts. We'll have to show them to you sometime because it'd be like how many how many cadets will? Uh, it'd be like such. Be a, like they were the bulldogs. Nineteen hundred and fifty-two bulldogs and one. Bi, you get what I'm you saying. Can fill in the rest of the way. The phone with. So, yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of history there. So, and and you know, it's um, Oprah was great. Oprah was great because she provided a lot of things. She provided, like I said before, a lot of facts, and she gave a lot of other people opportunities, such as um, Dr. Oz was one. Phil. Uh, Dr. Dr. Phil was one. Uh, let's see. Nate Burkus was another. Rachel Ray was another. So all these famous people she gave publicity to and got them into their, elevated their careers. Not got them into it, but took them to that next level. Oh, let's see. I uh, appreciate that, Jamie. Thank you so much for, for following me on Instagram. Um, hi, Robin. Just wanted to say hello to you tonight. Uh, the other night here it was 27 when I went to my my sister's house. Um, 
Well, when I went to my parents' house, it was 17 there, and my sister's house was 9. So I hope everyone is warm tonight. I hope you're in a well, um, uh, a well-warm house. Um, I pray for the folks that are not, uh, that are homeless, especially for during extreme weather. It, it's really sad for those folks. Janie D has subscribed to me on Instagram. Well, I know you're excited. I am. Tomorrow there should be some more photos. Hopefully on the Instagram page. There's 136 now. So I'm excited about that. Um, but again, I, I see homeless people out there and I, it just well, yeah. makes me cringe out and, out and about. Not in our town, I don't think. Not in our town, but I saw one in Augusta last night. I did see him in um, Charlotte when I went. Now, I did get Lisa's blood boiling a little bit last night. Lorraine knows about this. What you do? Me and Lyric were out late. He's always doing something. Car shopping. Or, well, I should say car I didn't get my, me mad. I'm trying to plug this in. Lisa's trying to plug in so we can keep charged here. We're trying to keep from having technical difficulties. Tonight's live has gone much better than ones in the past to this point. We're trying to keep that up. So, anyway, I wanted to talk about uh, things that you collect. And things that are not personal, but things that are I can't see it. Uh, collectible. So what are some things that you guys collect so that that way we can, we can share that, our experiences with you? Turn on flashlight. Experiences in what? Well, you know, experiences, like some people collect strange things. Janie says it is cold. Some people call it husbands. That's such an odd statement for you to make, Lisa. Just came to my mind because you're aggravating me. Do I really have to tell you? Really? Um, why don't you don't have to tell? I'm not going to force it out of you. <coughs> I mean, like, for example, I'll give you guys an example. Kick you off. Okay, I got I it. Collect and it drives Lisa nuts. Hot Wheels. I collect Star Wars. He fishing fishing and hunting stuff. You collect all sports cards of all sports. I stopped though. I haven't done it recently. I have over 15,000 of them. I collect way too much you crap. You didn't say items. recently or anything, so. It's just collection period. Yeah, what about you recently? Lisa makes a good point. So, the, any sports memorabilia, those are the things that I collect. I think Lisa I got the collects kids. guns. Well, I don't think you're supposed to say that. You're going to get me I'm kidding. demonetized. Toy guns. Toy guns. Don't say anything. Don't repeat it. That got you. That got my video took down last time, probably. Oh, I didn't know that. You knew that. Um, unicorns. I collect rainbows and fairies. There you go. Rainbows and fairies. <laughs> there you go. You need to watch what you say. YouTube, I don't, know that. YouTube don't like when we say that. Um, it's unicorns. And you collect a that. lot of junk from the Dollar Tree. Yeah, but I gift it back out. <laughs> it don't matter. You still collect it. I mean, it goes back out, so. Uh, angels, okay. Oh, uh, let's see. Unicorns, unicorns, paints and stickers. Hmm. Well, dad collects bears. My dad collects antiques and bears, and antique bears. And my mom collects dolls. Scary dolls. Not for me. <laughs> um... My, They're scary looking. 
brother-in-law collects 1861 type artifacts. I like anything with deer. I love deer. Me too, Lorraine. And by the way, Walmart is now selling an ammo box that has deer on it. I was talking to Lorraine last night when Will was out doing his shopping. You know, he's a shopaholic. And um, I sent her a picture of what you got. And she said she liked it. I said, he don't need that. It looked a lot smaller in the picture, but I'll go get it and let you show everybody. But don't, but don't say what it, heavy. don't say what it is. Cause YouTube don't like that. It's a box. That's what it is. But it had a specific name, but we're not going to say the name. <laughs> You're an 1800 artifact body. Really? Yeah, a lot of guys collect the same things, Janie. Um, so, you know, uh, you're right. It sounds like your husband is very close. According to Lisa, I collect fishing rods, too. I only have, like, ten. I don't know where she'd get that idea from. Ten what? Fishing rods. You do, you do. And you've got tons of fishing for stuff. I can't pick the box up. You've already got what you supposed to put it in it. So maybe you could step away and go get it. There's no way in the world. I'm gonna step out. It must weigh 89 pounds. It weighs 100 pounds. All right, we'll run. Oh, y'all hear me, I'm out of breath. Huh, that was heavy. I, ch I got a partial way out, Will. He's coming. Can you even pick it up? Turning it. You turn it around. Oh, that thing is heavy. Mm -hmm. Hurry up. The camera's, I got the camera crooked. This thing is actually holding. Oh. Here, you hold it right there. About a hundred pounds of what it's supposed to hold of items. Well, let's see the top of it, can we? But that's what he picked up at his late night Walmart shopping. Run. I'm like, you don't need that. And guess what? It is quality. It's nice wood. It's Walmart. made in the USA. Made in the USA right there. Oh, it smells good. It's cedar. It is cedar. That's right. I didn't know it was cedar. I can smell the cedar. Freedom. Freedom sticks, yes, yes, that's what well, it is. You got a few chips on the top of it. Yeah, that, that's the best one that I could find. Oh, all of them had something on it? Oh, a lot of them were way worse. They wouldn't even close. My gosh. It's called the Freedom Seed Box. Who said that? Jangie and Robin. Well, last uh, night had something else wrote on it. Deborah collects. Key... I'm not going to say what it was. Right. Deborah collects keychains. Stickers and coffee cups. Nice. Good to know. Yeah, you can get that box at your. Uh, I've only seen it at one Walmart thus far. It was uh, only. Uh, Robin said she got one last year at Ooh. hers. Robin. Ah, you never seen them before last night, did you? Never saw them. And it was twenty dollars. Hi, Lisa Larry. Was it twenty dollars? Yes, it was nineteen. I think that's a good it was nineteen seventy four and. The smell and the build on that thing is just awesome. And it sure really the corners is. Of it, but it's nice. The corners are, are beautiful, the design work. And again, it's made right here. Yeah, I mean, anytime you can pick up something that's your hobby and you can add it to a collection, it's really, really nice. Yes, it does. It holds about 800 seeds. Actually, a little bit more, Jamie. 
I don't know if I have this camera. She said she paid $19.99 for his. I wasn't that, you're not that far off. $19.74 was the price uh, for me last night plus tax. So Robin, that's, that's not a bad deal. And I'm sorry, guys. He got a year before me. I don't know how many freedom seats his holds, but I calculated that to be over 800. Does Will look, Will, you, I got you crooked. I don't know what to do here. No, I was fine. You're, there you go. There we go. Now I'm good. So, uh, tonight we've talked about Oprah and how she defended the Citadel and how accurate she was and just wanted to go over, we were talking about uh, things that you collect. I know that... And the uh, Dollar Tree Hall. Dollar Tree Hall. And the Dollar Tree Hall started it all off. There was a prayer request for um, uh, Janie's foot to heal properly and and quickly. And for the Dollar Tree Manager. And for the Dollar Tree Manager in Hickory off High Shoals Road. In North Carolina, who lost her home to a fire. To a fire. On Christmas yes. Eve. Yep. That's that's what the prayer requests are tonight. So we've covered all of that. Um, I would like to thank uh, everybody who's been a subscriber of, for Lisa and I. I uh, started the video by doing that. And it's definitely, without you guys, we wouldn't have a channel. So we are forever grateful for that. And we're appreciative of everyone who comes into these lives, who watches our videos. Um, we now have, I think, 22 videos that have over a thousand views. Um, we have one hitting 30. We have one about to hit 30, that's right. So, you know, really- That's big time for us. That really is, I mean, our next, We've got one that came out last year at Valentine's that was leading the pack. It has 11,000. So we're looking forward to the. To well, it's that. been up 1,000 in the last couple of weeks. Did it? So it's a 12,000. No, it's a, it was at 10 when we, at the Valentine's was over last year. And now it's gone up 1,000 in the last two weeks. Yeah, you're right, Janie. Freedom seeds are hard to find right now. Um, everywhere you look there, freedom seeds are out. So, um, it's very important. I know people that have tons of freedom seeds. Um, and I know everybody's trying to jack the price up and all that. So, uh, it's really unfortunate. Um, Robin, I'll send you... The, Lisa or um, Janie or I will uh, send you an email about what freedom seeds are. I think that's best. Matter of fact, I'll send you the email right after this. Robin, it's exactly what you got it for, but we're not allowed to say that. There you have it. Um, and Robin, um, I did send you a Christmas card. I hope you got it. I know a lot of people. I, Hello, Sour Candy Queen. Haven't got my cards or some came back. Hello, Sour ca Candy Queen. Thank you for coming in. It's been a while. Thank you we've... all for coming in. It's been a while since we've seen Sour Candy Qu Queen, Lisa, that I know of. I think so. So we're, we're grateful to have you tonight. Yes. Let's see. Robin says, um, I don't send anything back yet on that. Yeah, I, I how. How old were some of y'all when your collection, when your collecting <coughs> habits started? I'm gonna tell you when I was. I was nine. We, that's when you started collecting the baseball. That's when I started collecting my baseball and football cards, and I would go to Sam's Club. And basketball Club too. And basketball. Basketball is my lowest amount. I don't have. I have some hockey, but not very much. Much. But though that was the year 1985, when. I just, I started paying attention to sports. I was 10 years old, God, that tells, me, tells my age. Um, and that's when it all started for me, of starting to collect things. And I was a pack rat, according to my mother. You still are if I don't throw it away. Yes, that's correct. I will throw something away in a minute. Um, I'm sorry that you've been crying, Sour Candy Queen. Um, I hope that you're okay. Are you okay? Uh, she tries to crap. He says, um, 
Uh, my son collects hockey cards. You know, if you have a Wayne Gretzky rookie card in mint condition, you've got some money there. We'll take it. Good point. <laughs> um, so, let's see. I was getting ready to say, is it what goes in the box? Yes, Robin, it is what goes in the box. Um, let's see. I didn't want to send cards. I suck, but not in the mood. I want a new year. Lisa Larry of, says she collects teddy bears. My dad, okay, my dad. A lot of people want a new year. Yeah. I think I had point. a pretty good year this year. I um, did too. Considered everything. I think your channel did well this year. Well, no, I don't think our channel did that great this year. Uh, our channel did good up until February of this year. So our channel got some And COVID since February this year, our channel went poof. It tanked. I got more subscribers in January and February than I've got the whole rest of the year. Which is weird because you would think with people being home, they'd have watched they would more. maybe watched a little bit more. Maybe they did, and they just said, this channel is not for us. But that's okay, too. How oh, dare they? But that's oh, okay. Yeah. It really doesn't matter about your subscribers. Only till you get that thousand subscribers. After that thousand subscribers, it doesn't matter your amount of subscribers. It matters your amount of views. Because I, I mean, we have like eighty-nine percent of people who watch our videos are not subscribed to us. That's watching regularly our videos. So most of the subscribers don't watch. But I appreciate it to the ones that do. You know what? That's right. We have Lorraine. We have Robin, we have Janie, we have Lisa Laurie, we have Sour Candy Queen. We've got a lot of people. And you know what? Here's we have the a thing. lot more, too. Here's the thing about most of our subscribers. Those that we have that interact with us a lot, like Bonnie and Lorraine and Sadie. Uh, Robin and Sadie. A lot of different ones. A lot there. of them are there and have been there. Rosemary have been there for a long time. Jenna Kay. Um, and Jenna Kay also sent us an awesome Christmas gift, and and Sadie J too, that I have to open tomorrow. Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie says, "Am I chopped liver or something?" Yes, you are. Are we leaving you out? Of the Bonnie's there all the time. Oh, I did. When Please. you do a live, she's right there to help you, Will. Because I sure can't help. Uh, Lisa Larry says she was sick at one point and watched you even then, and she did it without commenting. Who was it? Lisa Larry. Oh, thank you. She said she was sick and she decided to. Uh, she decided that that would be best for her to watch your channel. Thank you. I try to keep it quick. I try to do my hauls quick, fast. I have a lot of people that tell me. That they like the way I do my hauls. Sometimes I might get a little chatty, but they tell me they like the way I do my hauls. I, sh I show them. Wait a minute, Will. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, no. They like the way I do my hauls because I don't keep on about the same item. I show the item. I get on to the next one. And they said, I like the way you do it. Keep it up. I get a lot of those comments. And a lot of people don't like that. I mean, a lot of people have been commenting recently. I don't know if I told you, Will. But they commented they like that. I do not show myself in the video. It's on my white background because they actually get to see the product. They actually get to see the product and what I'm showing them, and they appreciate that. I've got several of those comments in the last month. And here's the other thing. Lisa cut straight to the point on her hauls. I do, too. You're a little more chatty. But I'm a little bit more chatty, but it's because I'm on a live. If I weren't on a live, I would be... Just now, we don't do it when you're not on a live. We right. just get to the point. Right. But here's the reason why we do that. We try to include everybody in our audience uh, to... We like all the subscribers. We like interaction. We like people to talk. We like uh, things that uh, you guys want to talk about. Maybe there's something happening in your part of the United States or Canada that's not happening in our part. For example, sadly, we have not gotten snow in uh, like... Lorraine's eat up with snow. We haven't had snow in Jenny K years. said they had a blizzard Christmas. And again. We haven't had snow. I was in a state of shock going to North Carolina seeing people with snow in their cars. Oh, yes. Will was texting, voice texting, said, I'm seeing snow on top of cars. 
<laughs> we haven't seen snow in 10 years. Janie, thank you so much for saying that our channel is so much fun. And that's what we try to strive for. Thank it's, you. It's, it's an open forum to a degree, but we try to control what is said. We have to because um, YouTube, we did, a, we did a live. It was a, a live, not our last live, but the live before. And we do not think anybody said anything wrong. Nobody said anything wrong in the comments. But YouTube came back and they told me I had, that my live was violent. It was, um, they told me a few things it was. Indecent or something It was like violent that. and just different things. And they took my video off and they would not let us put our Dollar Tree haul up. And it was not any of those things. So anywho. That's why we didn't mention what this box was for. And we we'll probably shouldn't have mentioned one thing he mentioned. And this one could be ticked out too. But if it is, it is. I mean... We, we, are, we don't do this for the for financial gain. Let's be clear. Yeah, let's be clear. We do it because we enjoy the people who are our subscribers and the people who follow us. We did get monetized, and I have received two two YouTube, well, not checks. They put it in my bank account. Which we're grateful for. Which I'm very grateful for. But the amount of money is so tiny that, <laughs> um, you know, it, you, you're, you're not going to do this for the money. I know a lot of YouTubers have big channels and they get a lot of money. Now, I do have one friend who um, got monetized just a little bit after me and she did a video and she made like 1100 off of just one video. Now, I've never made that much period with YouTube. <laughs> Probably take me years, but so we don't do it for the money at all. Because we don't make any money to speak of. Off here's, of here's the other thing we don't watch TV very much. We don't, I never watch TV. I need, I want to start watching some movies and TV. Right, and, but we do do this. This is our interaction with the world. Kind of. In different places in the United States. Right. So let me ask, uh, let me ask a question to Lisa Larry real quick. You said that, um, that you had snow. Where are you from? Because I don't, I don't know you personally. Where, where, if she, she may not want to tell, you can, you if you don't tell. want to tell, you don't, you don't have to tell. tell. You don't have to. We're clearly here in the South. And I'm know. hot right now, and I want to turn the AC on, but I'm waiting because I don't want it to make much. I might just do it anyway. But my refrigerator always runs when we do a video or a live, and it's going to town over there. Yeah, we had light little flurries, Robin, one time. That doesn't count as snow. And then that, was, that. that was maybe five years ago. That was five years ago. Now, we did just, have a major ice storm. About five. Oh, and years. we did have an earthquake. We had a major ice storm. I mean, it was. We were out without electricity for five Debbie days. Debbie Unleashed is here. Hello, Debbie. Hey, Debbie. How are you tonight? We've done a haul. There are some new items to include real bacon, which has been. Uh, Dollar Tree has real bacon. Talked up. It's Farmer Farmer Jim. John. Farmer John. Farmer John Bacon sold at the Dollar Tree now. Shout out to Angela, one of our store managers, because she brought me back out of the line and said, hey, I got this new, you want to have some? I went and purchased it. I didn't have to get it for free. I want to be clear about that. <laughs> well, I'm great, this... happy to see you. It is great to see you as well. I've watched several of your videos. Not only Lisa's watched, but I have watched Who several. Is it? Now, I can't see the chat. So... Debbie, Debbie Unleashed. Right, right. And you are 100% on and that's all I'm gonna say about it. On one of your videos, he said you're spot on on one of your videos. He was laughing. I was I was laughing because um, it was funny. The accuracy of it, along with um, the funniness the humor of, in of it. the way she put it together. Right. It all tied in uh, greatly. Thank you, uh, Janie. That is, uh, that is so nice of you to say that about our moderators tonight. Yes, and thank all the moderators. Who's uh, moderating? Uh, that is She Shy, She's Crafty, and Bonnie's Corner. Thank make you, sure thank that... you. You didn't know that in front of you be, might be better than you. Have look at that. I have no filter, hence unleashed. This is true. Well, I don't really have a filter either. Do I will? In, in, in my real life, no, you have no filter. I have no life. filter at all. On here, you're more filtered than I am. I'm very filtered on Which here. Is weird again, because Lisa doesn't get in front of the camera. I do. I wouldn't do it in real life. 
I'm, I'm filtered on here, but I don't think what I say in real life would really hurt anybody's feelings anyway. Bobby, you can't be serious. What? Uh, Bonnie, I have a filter. We all have a filter. Where? Where is your filter, Bonnie? Are you kidding me? <laughs> she does have a filter, because if she didn't have one, she might be fussing you out right now. That's a good point. Bonnie loves me. She's not going to fuss me out. I mean, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have a filter, but I don't really say anything I don't think I couldn't say around anybody. Do you know what I'm saying? Anyway? You're right. Probably. Probably. I don't know. Lisa's the type of person that if she's, you have to pull her out of the fight a lot of times because she would be going with both hands. What does that mean? <laughs> that filter. What do you mean? I've never been in a fight in my life. What, what are we saying here? What are you saying here? That's right, Bonnie. You would never. What are you saying? Explain yourself. I am saying that if there was a argument right or a fight of any type right you would be going with both hands and yapping the whole time and <laughs> been beating the bricks off the person that's just who you are i didn't know that well thank you for letting me know i don't think that's accurate <laughs> <She said it. laughs> yeah right bonnie I've seen it once. Slap out loud. She tried. She's crafty. I will definitely speak up for myself if I feel I am. I will. I will definitely speak up for myself. Right, and you have to. You have to speak up for yourself in this world, or else you get run over. Exactly. I will definitely do it, and I will speak up for my beliefs. And I don't mind anybody else doing it either. I. And I can still be your friend after the fact. Let, let me say this. I'm going to say this. My Christmas time conversation was really. I was outnumbered massively at your parents at my parents at the dinner table. Well, his parents and family have different beliefs politically and religious wise than Will does. Correct. Whereas I become I've be, been more from the holiness background. His parents have one hundred and eighty degree flipped from one from from one way to another. So, uh, it was very, it's, I had to use my filter. You used your filter? To deal with them. <laughs> awesome! Yes. Uh, Lisa well, you Larry, have to use a filter constantly anyway in your, right, in your right, job. In my, in my profession. Lisa and Larry, where in Pennsylvania? Lisa and I love Pennsylvania, especially Hershey. Will has a lot of family in Pennsylvania, and his uncle works at is a uh, an endocrinologist. He's a chief of the hospital there in Pennsylvania. Do you remember which hospital? I can't remember. He is an endocrinologist. It, he was in Danville. He was in Danville, Pennsylvania, for, and then one of them is an one of my cousins is an executive at, in. Um, the main hospital in Pittsburgh. He's an executive for them. So I have you, a lot of people in my family from Pennsylvania. Is, what, you're, you've got a cousin that's a doctor. Is she in Pennsylvania? Uh, she's a veterinarian and she's oh, okay. in Colorado. Okay. She runs the Colorado State is that University. Lori? No. That's um, Lori's in Texas. And she is? She's a nurse practitioner. Oh, okay. Kara's in Delaware. She's an ER doctor. Then there's me. Then there's Will, the bum on the side of the street. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's me. Uh, you're near Pittsburgh? Okay. Yeah, the Seal City. Uh, we we like Reshersburg because it's so rural. We like Amish country. I like country, Hershey. Amish country, Philly. Hershey. Well, I, I've never been to Philly yet. I've never been. Oh, to I like Philly because there was. There but was I want to go to Philly. Collect. A baseball card store that was there to die for. You've been to Philly? Oh, yes. I haven't been to Philly. No, we've been to Pennsylvania together. I've had Philadelphia cream, Philadelphia cheesesteaks in Philly. But I haven't been to Philly with Will. Okay, so you live just outside of Harrisburg. Um, 
So we went to Reshersburg. Was it Reshersburg? Right, Reshersburg. Oh, they had it was nice there. We just had a really nice hotel there. And the people were super nice there. They had a lot of um not the Amish right there, the Amish is in Lancaster. But they had the uh what was it? They start with the M what was it? Uh mechanic? No, the people, they're not Amish, they're Mennonites. Mennonites, right. So uh Bonnie says, I've been everywhere, man. <laughs> I run around, I run around. Listen, run around, too. Uh, no. Uh, your passport is fully stamped, I imagine. I don't have a... My passport is stamped, but I've only been to, like, three countries. Four countries. There, I may still have actually... We still used, have... It used to be that I had been to more countries than I had been to states. Right. I don't think that holds true anymore because we went to Minnesota and Wisconsin. And when we did that, I think it swung the balance. I mean, anywhere East Coast we've been, I mean, we already agreed this year we have to go out to Missouri. Missouri? Yeah. we got to go see my girlfriend, uh -huh. Bonnie. Ah. Uh -huh. That's right. Bonnie's already told us we're going. Don't forget you don't have to agree with me to have every right to be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You're, right, Jamie. You're right, Jamie. You're right, Jamie. That was Jamie. That's funny, Jamie. Jamie. You are absolutely right. And you know what? I think that's what makes this conversation that's so important. That's what I'm going to start telling you when I agree on you. If ever right not to agree with me, if ever right to be wrong. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one I like. Really, Jamie? Uh, Janie, how long have you? She's the one that says she started watching us when she was sick. How no, long no, have you been Lisa, watching us that's now? Lisa Larry. Oh, that's Lisa Larry. But how long have you been watching us, Janie? She might have just started today. No, Janie's been on our lives the last <laughs> four know, or five cause... times, if not more. Um, I've been everywhere from California to Chicago. Nothing passed. I've never been. I've I've never been to California. I've only been to Utah, and I lived in Colorado for a while. We are only East Coast, East Coasters, really. No, I've lived in Colorado. I'm only an East Coaster. I went as far as. Well, you your your family's from Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, Delaware. Right. That's where your parents are and, from. And the only places that I've I've gone to Germany, I've gone to France, he, I've gone to England. His parents moved to South Carolina. From South Carolina, they lived in Germany. I was born in Georgia. Oh, that's right, Georgia. That's right. In Athens. That's right. I forgot. Well, neither one of us. We're both in South so Carolina, but we're not from South Carolina. West. So just to be clear, I've been to uh, Utah. You've been to Utah and Colorado. Lived and in Colorado. You drove through these states. Drove through these states. It took four days to get to Colorado. That was about 13 hours a day. <laughs> That's no surprise, <laughs> Bonnie. What? Bonnie says, down to Missouri, nothing to the right, only to the left of the country. Interesting. I've been to Canada. You haven't. You're right. I okay. So I've been to Minnesota's the furthest west I've been. Well, Minnesota actually and is Wisconsin. tied with no, because Minnesota's further west than Wisconsin. Well, Wisconsin was right there beside it. <laughs> True. I don't know my southwest, east, or none of that. Went to Indiana. Yes, you did. Flew in there in a blizzard. Um, went to Michigan. You drove that. Well, you flew there and I drove flew back. I flew drove back. That's well, the scary. I stayed on off an eight mile. This road. is before they were. That's went, scary. That was before um you had um, navigation on your phone, and that's where that um Eminem movie was from. Right, eight mile. And Will calls me and he's like, "You gotta get me out of here. I don't care what you do. It didn't have a map. Get me like out of third, here, you guys. It was scary. Was a third world country back 20 years ago, really. It's, it was very scary. It was a very scary place. Um, I don't know north, east, south, west. I don't, I don't either. I, I know just... right, left, and up and down. And you know what? Will does not know his left and his right, but he knows all directions. That's weird. 
What gets his left and right? Canada. Oh yeah, I live here. Laugh out loud. That's great. Right. Uh, Marine, have you ever been to the United States? Um, Lisa Larry says that she's been to South. She wants to go to Florida, South Carolina, and North Carolina. Don't North come is, in the summertime. Don't come in the summertime. No. It's you, so hot. You'll be miserable. You need to go in the early, early spring. Well, winter, winter's oh, great. Yeah. I have to turn the AC on. Lansing is a scary place. Lansing and Flint. Flint's another town or another city that I hear a lot of bad things about, Debbie. So that is a great point about um, that part of Michigan being a scary area. I am directly dis I am directionally dysfunctional. Don't give me north, south, east, and west, says Janie D. Okay, so when I was in Hickory, North Carolina, I'm glad you bring this up, Janie D. They had 9th Avenue Southeast, 9th Avenue Northeast, 9th Avenue Boulevard Southeast, 9th Avenue Northeast. <laughs> so so you got I'm confused. going all around. It took me like an hour and a half. To find the Dollar Tree. To find the Dollar Tree. That's a dedicated Dollar Tree holler right yes, there. Yes, yes. And the walkthrough. I would video, never done that. We need to put up the walkthrough video of that because it's probably hilarious. Um, let's see. I've been, to, um, I've been to Ohio. We both went to Ohio. What we go for? We were there in Cincinnati Airport. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the 50 years of the Bengals was that year of 19... Uh, I don't know 19, if that technically counts. 2017. That counts. You're there. Okay. Um, obviously, Georgia. Obviously, Tennessee. Um, you've been to Kentucky. You enjoy Kentucky. I, I, I Kentucky. really like Kentucky. I... That's a very nice Oh, wait. State. I have been to Kentucky. You know why? Because I walked on the other side of the airport... In Cincinnati, and that was the Kentucky side. Good night, Robin. Thank you for coming in. I gotta see one person write something. Good night, Robin. Thank you, and Happy New Year's. Yeah, and Robin, you have a great New Year. If we don't hear from you, um, until the first of the year, just uh, know that you're in our thoughts and our prayers. And we thank you for coming by tonight. Been to Ohio. My uncle lives in Kentucky. Lisa loves the Bluegrass State. Um, we love, we also love West Virginia. Um, just the overall, that whole little corner of how beautiful it is up there. Um, we do. We thought about we thought about buying a little piece of property there, but we haven't acted on it. Uh, obviously, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, New York. Uh, you said you were buying property in Maine. I've been looking in Maine too. I know it's that's super cold. I get it. I get that it's super cold, and I maybe bit off more than I could chew. However, Maine's not a bad option. Maine's not a bad option. Uh, Ohio for me was extremely wet. Um, I did drive through Toledo on my way down from Michigan, and it was a rainstorm unlike any other. So I have not had a rainstorm that big in a long time, and it was very hectic because I was driving a car that was not mine. I was driving it down from the GM factory at, the point, at that point. I was selling cars. My dealership had put me on an airplane. The customer had paid for it, and I was driving this car down that they didn't even know if they were going to buy. Thank goodness he bought it. You come up to Canada and go ice fishing? I have never done that. And, you know, I understand that uh, trouters, lake trout, uh, are, are delicious. And I want to do that so badly because uh, being able to pull one of those huge trouters out would be awesome. Um, a perch is another fish I have not caught, even though they're down here, which is really weird because I haven't, I haven't hooked into any of them. Uh, of course, then again, I don't fish the river that much, so maybe that's why. Uh, you come to Canada, you got to go to put in Bay, Ohio. I loved it there. Where is Bay, Ohio, Bonnie? Just out of curiosity. Yes, trout, walleye. I, walleye are part of the pike family, if I'm correct. 
and I have caught put in bay. Okay, put in bay. Um, thank you guys. You're relaxing. I just got all of my fussy cutting. All of my fussy cutting. Okay, interesting. Um, you take a ferry across. Interesting. It's an island. Okay. Well, that's definitely something to do for gas fishing. Um, for fishing point. Uh, trout, walleye. I want to catch a pike. I want to catch a pike. I think that would be interesting as well. I see a lot of people on my Instagram catching pike. I have caught a chain pickerel. I have not yet hooked into a gar, but it is, I have seen them. And they are definitely on, on my radar. That sounds like a lot of fun to take a ferry over to an island and uh, possibly go fishing, possibly just hang out. Pike or bony, yeah, um, so was the chain pickerel, but, you know, it was, it was well worth it though, it was good. Uh, let's see, gar. What kind of gar did you get? Did you get an alligator gar, a long nose, spotted? Which kind, Bonnie? Uh, Lisa, I'm glad to hear that you love to fish. It's, uh, it's an essential thing. I try to teach all my grandsons how to fish because it's a dying thing. Um, and I think it's going to be essential that they understand and know how to do that. Pike are very, very, very bony. You're right. So, just to fill you in, Lisa, Bonnie has caught a gar. A garfish. And also... Cool. Um, they say that they love to fish. There's Right now, let's see, I don't know. I rang it. It came up with lots of teeth. I threw the pole and ran back to the boat. <laughs> so, you threw the pole in the water with I a fish. I thought you had too many teeth, huh? That was a scary fish. Well, a pike, a pike's teeth are about that big. And his mouth, remember that uh, chain pickle I showed you? Not really. Remember the one that I cut that we had this year? And I only caught one of them? If I'm going to be honest, I don't really remember. I'll show her the picture. But you're absolutely right. They do have very long, sharp teeth. Um, where, where is Dolphin Island uh, exactly, Lisa? Where exactly is Dolphin Island, Lisa? Pike are scary looking. They're they're the apex predator. Um, I can I can tell you a fish that's even scarier than that is the tiger uh, in Africa. That thing has teeth that are like that big, and they're prehistoric type animals. I don't know. My boyfriend was pissed, wanted to hit it, said it was a garbage fish. Um. I don't know about being a garbage fish, Bonnie. I, a lot of people say flathead catfish are garbage fish, but guess what? Once you clean them and you properly prepare them, they're delicious. So some people say things are garbage fish. They say bullheads are garbage fish. Guess what? You prepare them and they make the best nuggets, catfish nuggets I've ever had. So yeah. Dolphin Island near Alabama. I've been to Alabama. We went through Alabama going to Louisiana where my sister was living and got married um, in New Orleans. So I've been there. I have not been to Dolphin Island though. You've been in New Orleans before that because your parents said they took you down to New Orleans when you were younger. Downtown New Orleans. This is no surprise that my parents would take Because me I downtown. said I would never bring my young children downtown New Orleans. It was crazy. It was mind-blowing to me. Debbie Unleashed, thank you so much for coming by tonight. Thank you, Debbie. We wish you a uh, good Happy New Year. And a happy new year. So, let's talk about... Um, something else. Something else, yes. Ask them what they like. What would y'all like to talk about tonight? You bring up the topic. I'm going to wait just a minute. We're going to weigh in. 
We're going to let uh, Debbie get a chance to say her goodbyes and, um, and her good nights, and we'll go from there. Is that Lisa Larry still around? Watching when she was sick. Yes, Lisa Larry is still here. Ask her when did she get sick and when did she? Lisa start? Larry, what were you sick from and when were you sick? Just out of curiosity. And then when was it she found our channel? And when was it that you found sick. our channel? While she was sick. While you were sick. That's a bad way to find us, but I'm glad you found us. Bonnie, you're right, you are always talking. But that's a good thing, Bonnie, because you keep things going. Hey. Bonnie said she's always talking. Someone else step up. <laughs> or come on. We are going to have a better year in 2021. You're absolutely right, Lisa Larry. I certainly hope so. Um, you know, and I love the optimism there. She got sick on Tuesday the 15th. Of this month? Of this month, yes. So she's a new subscriber. Let's see what she says about when she uh, when she found us. Well, she's got a way to go for her foothills. Yeah, Lorraine, I, pneumonia, I've had that. That's what Lorene has now. Right, and that's what she just said. She had that's what Lorene's talking about. She had she's had pneumonia and it's really dragging her down. And I agree with you, it really does drag people down because I mean I had pneumonia and it was I was out for a week out of work. When was this? When I was a dollar I had the flu and pneumonia. And strep throat. And strep throat all at the same time. She said I watched your channel before I got sick. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lisa. Thank everybody. Guys, I would like to uh, take this opportunity to thank everybody. Um, I know it's getting late where I'm at. It's so. 1027. We have a lyric here and he said he is bored and he's ready for us to be done. That's because his Xbox is in here and he wants to play it. So guys, I wanted to thank everybody for coming by tonight. Um, you know what? It's a wonderful live that we had tonight. Thank and you all for coming. And I want to wish everybody a happy, happy new year. I hope you all have a nice time with your family tomorrow night. We're just going to fix a few hors d'oeuvres and we'll, I don't know if Will's working or not. Oh no, not tomorrow night. It's the next night. The next night I'm on call, so if I work... I don't know if he'll then, be or not, but we'll stay up to 12. We'll have some food, and we're going to play some games with the kids. Guys, I just wanted again to say thank you so much for being great subscribers, great commenters. Um, we couldn't ask for anything more. Our moderators tonight, excellent job. And it is thank you to every single one of you who do not subscribe, but you could consider if you would like to. And if you don't, that's fine. Just keep on watching because you're doing an awesome job for us. And Janie is now, oh, it's now 1028. It is now 1028. And Janie says it is bedtime. I looked in the mirror and I definitely need some beauty sleep. Well, sleep stop helping me all night. night. <laughs> Guys, have a great night. Thank you once again. Good night, everyone. Happy, Good night. Happy New Year. Now, Will, I have to figure out how to turn it off.